Questions, bro, bro, bitch. <laughs> Damn. All in my motherfucking panties and can't afford your oysters? Oh my goodness. Uh huh. And I told y'all, a lot of the times you really ain't even gotta fight a bitch. When you put a bitch in their place and tell a bitch what it is, you ain't got to fight them. And I don't know why y'all hoes be thinking y'all niggas scare somebody. Girl, I can't stand a bitch that be thinking, bitch, because a person part of the LGBT or a bitch might be a little soft or a little feminine or trans. That girl, they scared of your nigga. Girl, fuck your nigga, bitch. I will slap you in front of your nigga, bitch. Because I bet not be with no nigga. If anybody talks to me crazy, he don't say nothing. Bitch. But I respect her nigga because her nigga know I didn't say nothing wrong. That's why I respect him. And that's why if he call my motherfucking phone, I'ma suck his dick for a discount. Bitch. I can respect the man who don't start no shit. Bitch, cause you niggas better stop motherfucking standing up for these motherfucking bitches. That's so get your motherfucking ass sliced. Bitch, if that bitch not worth dying over, then bitch, you better mind your motherfucking business and let me beat this bitch up. Because that's all that was going to motherfucking happen. Bitch, you got me fucked up. Bitch, like you can say whatever the fuck you want and I can't. Bitch, you don't know me. Hoes be really thinking they can say whatever the fuck they want. Disrespectful, ugly, black whore. You broke whore. And I know I'm not supposed to be eating late. I know I'm not supposed to be eating late, but I haven't eaten all day. So this don't count. This does not count, okay? Should I cook this bitch something to eat or no? Because I'm not cutting up no more potatoes. I don't want to cook the bitch shit, honestly. I still ain't made up my mind. Are we cutting this much or that much? How much do I want?
Oh shit. Like y'all be doing that coke. You gotta catch it like that nut. You gotta catch it. You don't wanna let that nut run away, girl. You gotta catch it. Okay, then we go put some peppers in there. Some peppers, onion, celery. Mm hmm. We go put another dent in there, right? Right? Oh, girl, what this titty keep trying to come out? She said, I want to cook cherry. Get you some peppers. Okay, get you a little pepper mix. 
Okay, get you some onions. Because, bitch, I already know once I see this blunt, bitch, I'm going to be high kabooka boots. Okay. I'm going to be high as a kite. Okay. So now that we got this all mixed up. Okay. Oh. Got it like that. We go loaf it out. Okay. Oh, and she know I make the best meatloaf. That's really why she want one. She want some. Oh. Oh. Okay. And then you lay it in there. Tennessee. Thank you, babe. Thank you, Tennessee. I appreciate that, baby. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the live cooking with the boom. See how them pre-cut vegetables come in handy? Ah, swear. Okay, you gotta clean up as you go. And then we go put our ketchup in. Well, we don't have no ketchup. I'm out of ketchup. So we go cook it a little bit and then put our barbecue sauce on it in a minute. Okay, now I got time to go smoke. Okay. And honestly, I've never made mashed potatoes from scratch. So, bitch, we gonna just play it by ear. And, um, I don't have that mashing thing. I don't have that mashing thing. Yeah, I don't like touching raw meat other than dick. Yeah, that shit be on your hand.
a cake mixer. But is it gonna make it? Is it gonna make it? I got a cake mixer. Oh, I don't have an electric one. Fork will do. Okay, I'll use a fork. Let me turn these potatoes down. Turn the oven down a little bit. Get you a bitch like me. Okay. Y'all ready to smoke? Cherry smothered potatoes is the same as is the same, but sweet, but better. I don't eat smothered potatoes, whatever that is. You saw that potato, the sliced potatoes when you put the cheese and stuff on it in the oven. That is that what you consider smother? Oh, bitch! I'm already rolled up. Bitch, I've been rolled. Bitch, I got me a pre-roll too. And I had a blunt left over from earlier. Y'all run it up. Y'all fucking with me in tonight, I see. That's what's up. It's like this area where you can see this. So, girl, mind you, we get there a little early. So, bitch, you know, we at the bar. So, I'm like, girl, I'm going to go sit down. And I always got to cuss a bitch out. Why is it me that always got to cuss somebody out? A bitch, I swear I'm looking for a problem. But, bitch, I don't know why problems always ease up on me. It be the devil. Because the devil see how blessed and favored I am. And he always trying to ease his ugly ass up on me. His creeping black ass up on me. And motherfucking bring some bullshit my way. But don't even know God got me. Girl, and it was this old faggot. Girl, I go sit down. It's four chairs, right? And I don't know if they all were together. Because it was, it was an old man on this chair. This chair was empty, this chair was empty, and it was another old man. But I seen another old queen kind of guarding the chair. You know, she want to be seen, but she don't really want to sit down. Girl, so bitch, I wait till she move a little further from her motherfucking chair. Then I tell my friends, why y'all order the drinks? Bitch, I'm going to go get us a little seat. I'm going to at least go get me and Miss Ashley a seat. So, girl, I go walk up to the motherfucking stool. Girl, this old faggot. Girl, her friend is already, you know, bitch, before, when I grabbed the stool to pull it back to sit in it, girl, her friend already trying to tell me, bitch, oh, that's something, girl, they already, the, the, the two old queens that are already sitting down are already trying to tell me somebody's sitting there, bitch, you ain't talking to me. Ho, we are at a public event, ho, and there are no saved or assigned seats, bitch. And your old faggot ass should know how to treat motherfucking women, first of all, bitch. So when I, honestly, if you were sitting in the chair and you saw a bitch like myself walk up, your gay ass should have been a gentleman enough to get the fuck up and let a woman sit down. First of all. But I know when I'm dealing with fags, you don't always get that type of, you know, that's why I only deal with certain men. That's why I only deal with certain butch queens. Because, girl, you got the gay men that know how to treat women and will probably still fuck the shit out of a woman. You got the gay butch queens that know how to treat a woman that will probably fuck a woman. Then you got them fags that really don't like none of the girls. The transgenders or the bitch. So y'all that have that, that say, oh, gay people don't like don't like women. Nah, it is a little truth to it, bitch. I ain't gonna lie. Girl, some of them punks do not like y'all, but when y'all try to throw that narrative on me, when all I do is help build women and try to tell women what type of women they should be, bitch, you can't ever say I hate motherfucking women. Ho, I can never be jealous of no bitch. How? Bitch, you know what I mean? So, girl, as I'm walking up to the chair, pulling the motherfucking stool out, girl, the old queens is like, oh, somebody's sitting there, da 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 So, girl, I'm, girl, you know I'm very good at ignoring. Bitch, I am very, very good. I have, like, no shade. I should be, like, in the world Guinness World Record or whatever the shit called. Bitch, because I should get the motherfucking title for the best ignoring of motherfucking bitch-ass motherfucking record. Bitch, I will ignore you, and you are standing right here in my motherfucking presence, in my motherfucking face. I could be looking you dead in your motherfucking eyes and not hear shit you talking about. Bitch, my selective hearing is T. Bitch, I be out in public and shit. People like, Cherry, Cherry, girl, you will swear I never heard you. Bitch, I got ear pods in. Yeah, bitch, and don't even own a pair of ear pods. 
Girl, so as I'm pulling the chair up, girl, the old two queens is like, girl, somebody sitting there. So, girl, I look at both of them like, I didn't say nothing because my facial expression, I'm sure, said it all. Girl, the old queen, like, oh, somebody sitting there. So, I pull the chair back. Girl, and as I'm trying to put all this motherfucking ass in the chair on the motherfucking stool, the old fag, this old bottom sugar daddy looking ass nigga. Girl was girl had his arm. He wasn't too aggressive, but he had enough enough sternness in that motherfucking arm. Girl, he had was putting his elbow in my motherfucking back. Girl, trying to keep me from sitting down. He like, oh, this my seat, bitch. I don't give a fuck what you say to me. But when we began to have a physical, it could be this, bitch. When it comes to that physical shit. Do not play that. Girl, Miss Mamas, and bitch, y'all know, bitch, no shade. I'm a, I'm a nice size girl. For me to be the fish, bitch, I'm a nice size girl. Bitch, I'm 5'10". You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you know, natural born males, b black males are naturally larger, period. Bitch, the bone structure. Bitch, I'm trans. I ain't one of these big beastie bitches that we see on motherfucking Bego. I'm none of these motherfucking linebackers like we see on Bego. But bitch, for the fish, I'm a nice size bitch. I'm very Megan Thee Stallion. Bitch, titties, ass, little ways. Bitch, 5'10". Bitch, 100 and motherfucking 77 motherfucking pounds. Bitch, I am a healthy girl. Bitch, I have not missed no meals. Girl, this bitch, and mind you, this little old bitch, she probably about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, but bitch, mind you, I had on I had on heels. So, bitch, at this point, bitch, I'm giving very, very much 6 feet, 6'1". Six, huh. Girl, bitch, I must have turned that motherfucking stoop around, bitch, and put my nails right in that bitch motherfucking nose. Bitch, if you don't get your motherfucking hands the fuck up off me, bitch. Girl, that hoe was like... Bitch, I don't give a fuck who chair it is, bitch. Hold oh, on, fucking touch me. Do you understand me? Girl, that bitch was like... Granny, you know, she had her, look, her old girls with her. Girl, so I don't know what they feel like. Because, girl, no shade, girl. I know a lot of the gays don't respect the girls. Bitch, and I, I girl, I, girl, I was expecting, girl, maybe somebody to pull my hair. Or, girl, I don't, bitch, when I go in, I be expecting whatever I'm with, whatever come behind it. Because, bitch, I meant what the fuck I said. And I meant to touch that motherfucking nose. Bitch, you gonna get the fuck out my motherfucking face over a motherfucking stool, puss-ass nigga. Girl, I had to pull my dress down. Girl, he had made me act like a nigga. Bitch, you don't get your bitch ass out my motherfucking face. Girl, and I had turned around, girl, and threw all 50 inches at that bitch. Girl, all this hair had slapped that bitch and it landed in her motherfucking drink. Bitch, you don't get the fuck out my motherfucking face. And then I turned around again, looked at his motherfucking friends, and then I said, and to answer your motherfucking question, I don't give a fuck about your chair, and no, you can't have your seat back. Bitch. Now whoop me over this motherfucking stool. Girl, so bitch, you know, now everybody in the motherfucking club, like... <laughs> bitch, everybody like, so girl, the motherfucking MC... Like five minutes later, you know, he bring a chair back and he was like, is everything okay? He was like, <clears throat> did y'all need another chair? I said, that bitch need another chair. Girl, I'm fine. My feet are well rested. Bitch, this ass ain't moved and ain't go move. Bitch. But see, people don't know how far I've come in life because the old me... Would have sat there about five, ten minutes, and then I would have got up and went to the bar or 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 to the bathroom or something just so she can come back and play with me and sit in the chair and play that game and I would have beat her up. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to be that type of bitch. That's why I thank God for growth. Because when y'all bitches be playing with me, I'd be like, girl, y'all hoes really don't even know me. Cause I used to be looking for a problem. No shade, that's probably all the problems be coming to me now, cause bitch, I used to look for problems. Like, bitch, I'd get up and lose my seat just so you could take it just so I could beat you up. Bitch. Girl, you ain't getting this motherfucking chair. Shut the fuck up. Girl, mama had put her whole arm and elbow in my back. Very much like, no, you're not sitting here. Girl, how long these potatoes supposed to cook? They ain't done. I could turn them up. I had turned them down because I didn't want to uh, overcook them. I just turned them up a little bit. Bitch. Go ahead, I me mean, out here beating you up over a motherfucking stool that don't belong to neither one of us. But I will. The fuck? B. 
bitch. Better get the fuck out of my motherfucking face before I beat your old ass up, punk. No, you ain't getting this motherfucking trust. So one of her friends, the whole night, girl, mind you, didn't nobody say nothing. So, girl, the whole night, her friend that was sitting on the opposite side of Miss Ashley, girl, and when the man came with the extra stool, I offered the stool to my other friend. Girl, when the other man came with the other stool, I was like, uh, friend, do you want this chair? The fuck? Yes, bitch, I would make them bring chairs from the back. Girl, you better sit down before you get beat up over a stool. Girl, that is not going to be a good reason to get beat up. Girl, why your eye black? Because I was fucking with this tranny. And I and I put my back in her elbow. And she beat the fuck out of me. And her V, v uh, and her motherfucking uh, Von Dutch. She beat the fuck out of me. Bitch. Because, bitch, you know I had a little anger built up from me. Because, bitch, I was really ready to fight at the restaurant. No shade. Like, I really hate disrespect. People don't even know what bitches be going through. That's why you don't need to be bothering people. Because when y'all be out here fucking with people for no reason, you really never know what a person going through. Somebody could have just lost their mama. Somebody could have just lost their apartment, their car. Bitch, somebody could have just lost their child. Bitch, somebody could be getting evicted. Somebody could have just had a wreck. Girl, somebody could have just got some bad news, found out something about their health. And y'all really out here fucking with people that you don't fucking know. Bitch, that is one of the most dangerous things on earth. Bitch, you don't know I got all this pressure still built up on my motherfucking chest when wanting to fight Trey. Cause bitch, fish had really pissed me off, but bitch, my mind was prepared to fight her nigga. Bitch, real tea. Cause I don't know how this shit go go, and my tea is on the table. So bitch, I'm sure nine times a ten a nigga shouldn't just let me beat up his bitch, but I will, and I will fight him off GP for her. If you want to step in for her, I'll fight you. Yes, but somebody finna fight. Ho, cause I'm gonna fight for me every time. I promise you, to all the people that got my back, all my brothers and stuff that be ready to tear shit up about me, but one thing I do know is people that know you go tear shit up, go be ready to tear shit up for you too. People that know you don't start no shit and somebody else is wrong, be ready to stand up for you too. Because one thing about me, I mind my business, but if I were to ever see somebody being wrongfully treated and they're not standing up for themselves, I'm gonna stand up for them. I might not necessarily fight for them, but, bitch, I'm definitely going to let them know, like, bitch, you're doing too much. Period. Period. Girl, so, bitch, I'm already irritated because, bitch, when I grabbed my purse, when Trey started looking at me, I pulled my purse up and put it on the table just to let him know, bitch, there's no talking. There's no talking. No, I'm not arguing with you, Trey. You didn't disrespect me. But if you finna get involved because your bitch is wrong, then whatever. Come with it. Come with it. And bitch, when I was looking at him, it was like he he felt that it was going to go left. Girl, Trey looked at that bitch and put his head down. And he was Trey Trey. He he, wanted, he looked like, you know, he a nigga. And I'd be on 10 with straight men simply because I already know how they look at the gay community. And then I already know how they look at cross-dressers. And then they even look at trans women, the ones who are altering their bodies and really living our lives as women. They really look at us as the weakest. But bitch, I'm going to stand on all ten of these toes every time. Bitch. I had put that purse on that motherfucking table like, bitch, now what? Because by this time, I already done called her all type of bitches and hoes and ugly and unfit, thin wigs. Bitch, I already done laid her out. And if she would have gave me too much, because she kept it cute. You know, when her nigga didn't stand up for her, you know, she was like, I don't know who, I don't know what, what, what did that bitch say? She said, why would I argue with that? But when she talking to the waitress, she like, um, she like, I don't know why she act, why she just, I was just sitting here and she just started yelling at me and my, my husband. Or when she just started yelling at me, me and him. She just started yelling at us. And I'm like, bitch, you can say all that, but ho, cross that line if you want to. Yeah, trying to act all innocent. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about getting kicked out of here. Bitch, the food nasty anyway. Girl, the food nasty as a motherfucker. Girl, let them kick us out. Oh, great. The food free. The fuck? I could have kept my motherfucking $45. The fuck? Bitch. Put, put us out. I ain't enjoy the food. Never been here. A bitch been in the motherfucking Atlanta seven years and never heard of y'all. I can go come wherever. Else. And the shit was nasty. Bitch, please do me a favor. <laughs> please.
please do me a favor and get your ass and your nigga ass whooped at the same time. You will have a bad day. Bitch. Because, bitch, it was a table in front of us. Oh, girl, I was just thinking about all the shit I would have did. The old me would have just went to the table in between us. Like, bitch, I met y'all halfway. What's up? I used to be bad, y'all. And when I used to hear people talk about their growth and where they come from, I used to be like... I used to be like, girl, you just changed because you weak or you a scary ass bitch. But no, I understand now that I'm growing and I'm maturing, growth is beautiful. Because I'm so happy I'm not out here doing some of the weak street shit I used to be on. Because it really do be unnecessary, but sometimes it is. And I've learned. And my compromise with that is... 504 Bop and said, I remember them days. Bitch, and, and my thing with that is, I've learned out of all the altercations I've ever been in, is when you check a bitch nine times out and you're right, there's nothing for a bitch to argue about. You understand what I'm saying? Once you put a bitch in their place and check them on what they did right then and there, you're either going to fight then or it's over. Because there's nothing else to be said. You've checked it. You've said what you had to say and be done with it. Now, and don't get me wrong. Just because you speak your mind and say your piece, don't think you ain't going to ever run into a bitch that just want a problem. And when you run into a bitch that just want a problem, girl, you got to give it up. Bitch, you got to give it up. Some, Sometimes it go that way when you stand up for yourself. Sometimes you go get your hair pulled. Sometimes you go have bitches telling you where the fuck you can't go. Sometimes you go have bitches being fake with you and really hanging out with your ops. Sometimes you go have bitches just fucking with you for no reason when a bitch want a problem. And it's right here. Bitch. And I don't give a fuck what nobody tell you. I don't give a fuck where you at. Bitch, you better always stand up for yourself. Girl, I don't give a fuck if your friends call you ghetto. Because, girl, while I'm doing me, girl, my friends are like, oh, Cherry, stop. Girl, no, bitch, you stop. Bitch, you be out, and girl, I cuss my friends out too. Bitch, I hate when I'm with people, and they be like, oh, Cherry, like, bitch, says the nigga that just had the motherfucking waiter shivering. Girl, mind you, my homeboy, girl, he like, he didn't cuss the waiter out, but girl, he has, he has locks. And girl, when the waiter came to the table, she just saw me, and then she saw Ashley. So she was like, hey, ladies, and all she saw was his hair from the back. Girl, so she come up to the table, and she like, hey, ladies, and she like, what can I get for y'all? And he like, I'm a man. Girl, he just with that extra masculine shit for no reason. You know, but I get it for sexy. But, girl, it made me feel so bad because when he said that, girl, he really was like, he, you know, he was really like, I'm a man. Like, he really checked her. And, and I felt so bad for her. And because, girl, when she was putting the utensils on the table, girl, she was shaking. And that, I was like, oh. And I wanted to, I wanted to say something. But he was right. But. She didn't mean no harm. So I was, my loyalty being with him, I just shut up like the fish. I just shut up. But when she left, I kicked him under the table. I'm like, nigga. And he was like, I know, bitch. I felt bad. I didn't know she was going to be shaking. And I'm like, nigga. When she come back to this motherfucking table, you make sure you make, make it easy. You know? Make sure you make it. You be nice to her when she come back. Do something extra nice. Give her a compliment or something. The fuck? But then when I chump out the bitches that's in here calling me motherfucking niggas, bitch, you motherfucking want to talk about I'm doing too much. Okay, because I don't mind. I'm always do too much. Bitch, my name is Sherry Lee Boom. Bitch, I'm going to always do too much. And I don't think I do too much. I just think what y'all tolerate is more than what I'm going to accept. Honestly, I don't think I do too much. I act accordingly. And you can't expect a bitch to do anything more than act accordingly. We can go from zero to 100. Where you want to go? You want to go 50? We can do 50. We can do 47. We can do 89, 83. Or we can do 24. Or we can do 101 on a dash. <laughs> Bitch. We can do a mother. We can get a super ticket. Bitch, we can do a motherfucking 103 and a motherfucking 75. You want to do that? Because that's a super speeder. Bitch, because I got one. <laughs> the fuck? Because, bitch, that man had got me on my way to Houston one time. Girl, and I was on, I had a permit, bitch. I was driving out of town. Bitch, I was out of town on a permit, bitch. I used to be on the go. Girl, that police officer said, you know what? Girl, mind you, I ain't have no insurance. Girl, that man was really supposed to take my car and take me to jail. 
Girl, I'm out of town by myself. Y'all remember when Godiva had to come get me and I still went to Texas. He was like, I'm going to let you. He was like, I'm really supposed to impound your car because I had no insurance, bitch. And he was like, uh, and I'm really supposed to take you to jail, bitch. I was doing 100 and something in a motherfucking 75. Or I think no shade in New Orleans. It was probably a 55. Bitch, I don't know. So, girl, I sat there for about an hour and a half. He was like, I'm going up this road. Girl, he scared the shit out of me, too. He was like, I'm going up this road. And I'm going a couple of exits up. And if I see you pass me, you're going to jail. Bitch, I was scared as fuck. Do you hear me? Bitch, I was scared as fuck. Okay, I'm going to check the food in a minute. Thank you, Fancy. Bitch, I call my Godiva, rest her soul. Oh, I love that lady. Mmm. <sighs> okay. And girl, I, um, she came and got me and I was like, mom, I gotta go to Texas. And she was like, um, girl, she, she had something. Mind you, she didn't have her car. Her son had her car. She fucked with me so heavy. She had one of her homegirls. And mind you, my God, I was way older than me. She was in her 50s. You know, so bitch, as a mother, bitch, she came, drove, had her friend drive an hour and 45 minutes outside of New Orleans. To come make sure I was okay. So, bitch, she got there. And I was like, mom, I'm not going. Bitch, I was like an hour away from Texas. Bitch, I already done drove an hour and 45. Bitch, I'm right here damn near smack dead in the middle. And I'm a little over. Mom, I'm, I'm going I'm going to Texas. Because, bitch, either way it go, I got to get my car home. So, even if I drive this way, well, she could have drove my car. But either way, when I leave and go back to Atlanta, I got to get out of Louisiana either way. Bitch, we drove like two exits up. I'm like, Mom, I'm gonna follow you two exits up, you know, just in case he up there. So, girl, her, and her friend drove about 10 minutes out with me. Girl, we didn't see him. And she was like, I'm going up two or three exits. And if we don't see him, and you know, it's up to you, you go turn around and come back with us, or you go on about your business, and it is what it is. And she was like, I really want you to come with me. And I'm like, Mom, I'm not going back to motherfucking New Orleans. Girl. Baby, bitch, I've been on some adventures. Girl, we didn't see that motherfucking police officer. And that bitch scared me and told me, he said not only was he going to be a couple of exits up, he also told me it was cameras um, on the light poles. And it really was cameras. But bitch, I'm like, girl, you know, a thug like me, like, bitch, do they work? <laughs> bitch, I'm really a low, I'm, bitch, I'm really the Trey. <laughs> bitch, he told me about the cameras in the air. But girl, another, that little bad bitch in me, the boom was like, bitch, do they work? Because, you know, there's a bitch in me that just don't scare easily. Like when hoes was telling me where the fuck I can't go, bitch, I got to meet the bitch that can tell me where the fuck I can't go. You know, there is a little thug in me a little bit. Like, bitch, where I can't go? Oh, yeah, there's cameras. Bitch, where the cameras? Show me a copy of the camera rolling. Bitch, we went up them few exits. Bitch, I said my little prayer. Because, you know, you got to keep the Lord in it. That's why I always praise the Lord in advance. When things are going good, because, bitch, when things are going bad, baby, I always want to feel comfortable throwing me a little prayer in. Lord, I'm heading into Texas. I don't need no tickets. Bitch, and I had my motherfucking orange challenge it in. Bitch. <clears throat> bitch, I was up out of there. Oh, when I hit that motherfucking Texas borderline. Bitch, I'm like, bitch, where is it? Bitch. <laughs> where is this motherfucking Texas, bitch? Girl, mind you, I'm trying to drive the speed limit, bitch. I don't know if he done told his other friends that are up the road, bitch. And mind you, it's an orange challenger. So it ain't that many orange motherfucking challengers riding up and down this motherfucking highway this time of day. Girl, I'm like, girl, if I don't know, he done called it in. Bitch, I don't know. But bitch, the thug in me was just like, bitch, let's go. Ho. Bitch. You suck dick today.